International UAE. This is where we see the new Harare city to rise. Let me take you back not so long ago when myself with my colleagues had the great fortune to meet our Excellency, the President in Dubai during Expo. And during that time, we did not know about much about Zimbabwe. We did not know about the opportunities that lie here. And it was His Excellency, the President, who opened our eyes and gave a compelling argument why we should look at Zimbabwe as an investment destination. And here we are with the first of our projects, which is the Zim Cyber City. Now, just to give a brief on the project, the Zim Cyber City is a mixed use development designed, you might be wondering the name Cyber City. It is designed to bring in the commercial enterprises along with the high end living, where in the space of blockchain and digital assets, all the players in this field, whether they are the crypto exchanges or they are the uh, players who work in the crypto, the blockchain, the digital assets, all of them, they all desire us to having a destination where there's an ease of business and ease, ease of banking, basically. To this effect, we have worked very closely with the Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Development to create a channel with the blessings of His Excellency, our President, to create a channel called Zimbabwe Global Investments, through which channel the businesses investing through this will be declared as an economic special zone. And this zone will have all the multiple benefits of having the duty-free import of the goods for use, all the tax concessions, uh, easy banking requirements, 100% expatriation of your capital and your uh, profits, and many, many more. And that has really encouraged us to create not only just a commercial enterprise, but also a city which will have a total amenities. I remember uh, His Excellency's message to me was, bring the Dubai standards to Zimbabwe. And honorable dignitaries, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring the Dubai standard of a living to this particular development. The product will have high-end villas, we call them Zim Hills, surrounding uh, water bodies. We'll have a, a very tall tower with the uh, shopping center. And we've, since it's a very special uh, economic zone, you know, this shopping center has been designated to be a duty-free uh, shopping center. And along with that also comes the commercial benefits of uh, living here. So this is uh, our first investment. I'm also pleased to announce, uh, uh, with your permission, Your Excellency, uh, another investment that we would like to make immediately after, uh, that would be in the healthcare sector. Now here we are bringing state-of-the-art uh, diagnostic centers, the pathological labs and the pharmacy chain uh, within the government hospitals. I've had an opportunity to discuss this well, with the Vice President also, and with their blessings, we hope to get an approval so that we can embark uh, on this program. 
So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a short brief, and specifically on the on the global uh, on the digital uh, assets and the cyber city. Thank you, His Excellency President Ms. Emerson. Uh, we would like to first off start off with uh, a, a whole plan of cyber city and uh, the commercial aspects would be in bringing in the blockchain infrastructure into the city by uh, having big offices and uh, free flow of money internationally and international currency flowing into Zimbabwe. Um, and this can be done through having uh, opportunities like Binance and uh, KuCoin and other big offices that I know of in Dubai that can come in and start operations here. Another way of uh, building the blockchain is to have a widespread internet available 24 hours and the fastest speed internet within this city as well. We just need to extend the fiber lines and uh, we are good to go. Uh, with that, uh, these two things completed, we'll move on to the third phase of the of the infrastructure, which will be to have data centers and uh, and high speed satellites to stream all the information that are outwards and inwards internationally. I feel honored to be officiating at this groundbreaking ceremony and the launch for the Cyber City in Mount Hampton. Allow me at this occasion to commend investors and business people such as my dear friend, Mr. Mark. We have heeded my call to invest in our beautiful country, Zimbabwe. But before I go further, I would want to tell us what has brought about what we are witnessing today. In March this year, I was invited to UAE and I was slotted to address the global exhibition in Dubai on the 14th, I think, of March this year. I pleaded with the business forum that Zimbabwe is open for business and Zimbabwe is a land of great opportunities. After that address, Mr. Malk and his colleagues approached me to have a further discussion So we agreed to have dinner. Mr. Malk is chairman of a group of business people, a group of billionaires. So we went to that dinner. I was accompanied by Professor Nuve and um, Honorable Kest Coventry, the three of us. I took Professor Nube because he's Minister of Finance. I took Honorable Coventry case because Mr. Mark is an enthusiast of cricket, sports. And he assembled a group of 11, 12 top business Mongols in Dubai. I don't think I will ever assemble that group of persons again in my life. So after discussions at that dinner, uh, almost to the person, these top international business Mongols, some flew from afar to come to the dinner with their jets. They then promised various areas of investment. The chairman, Mr. Mark, who is here, said you'd be coming within the next few weeks and they came.
after discussing with him at the state house, he was so satisfied that he asked some of his billionaire groups also to come, and they came. And we discussed. This is just March and April. So I said to Mr. Malk, my desire is to transplant Dubai to Zimbabwe. <laughs> Mr. Malk agreed to build a smart city. Better, they are, these are the same guys who have built uh, Dubai. So he has agreed to build a smart city better than Dubai. Saka Mukatendera Mchuona isu. Isu. Ndozu chawa kwa pano pa first phase. This is the first phase of development. Uh, this cyber city is to be a key feature that will bring added value to our new city here. The development around here for the smart city on 15,500 hectares will be the smartest city in our region. This morning, this morning, I think you saw us, some of you are already here, passing through to the hill. Tatainda Kundobona Parliament, Yapera, a magnificent parliament on the continent of Africa. We, as the people of Zimbabwe, the government of Zimbabwe, and indeed myself, on behalf of the people of Zimbabwe, are extremely grateful to the government of the People's Republic of China, and in particular to His Excellency President Xi Jinping. When the Second Republic came in, it was in April 2018, when I was invited by President Xi Jinping to visit China, Beijing. And besides various projects which were negotiated between the government of Zimbabwe and the government of uh, the People's Republic of China, President Xi Jinping asked what I would want, which you would grant at political level without going through negotiations, but as a political decision. Of course, being former Speaker of Parliament myself, I was fully aware about the inadequacy of the current Parliament. So I said, we wish to have Parliament. He said, granted, we'll give you as a grant free of charge. <laughs> so there is the Parliament, the most magnificent Parliament on this continent, fully furnished by the People's Republic of China. Very soon, it is finished, we are now going to put a debt when uh, we are going to commission it, and you all be invited. Now, this is now being complemented by this cyber city. This new city presents various investment opportunities to both commercial and residential building development. It will go a long way in solving the shortage of development space in Harare. As you can see, we shall have the tallest building, that tower, here in the country. The restaurants, the hotels, duty free shops, the top 
brands in the world will all be here. All be here. This is not the only thing that they are going to do. The next thing which we felt is critically important for our people is the medical side, health. We need to have state-of-the-art medical centers in the country. So the Malk Group International have already assisted some of our hotels, but I said go and discuss with my vice president, who is also Minister of Health, and find out what he wants. So, Vice President, whatever you want, Musaita Netema, Mogadzira Kutitiwane medical service systems in the country, state of the art, world class. Wano kwa sakuita. Sakareze, Wamwe Wavo, Vazi Pira Kuti, Mutown Medum, Chatanga Gorenovia. Harare yose kuna umwe wabo akabuya eh bari bakayara tatu bakati ah Mr Mark iwe uchibaka apa toda kuti harare zvairi titeitsa icha gadzi kwa harare pairi handi kuti vanoita sei Kuti isanduke ibe itayose zayo. Digital world iriku. Yavari kunza kuno. The fourth industrial revolution has focused the global attention with regard to the development of technological innovations and the digital transformations to shape the transition from the market economy to the knowledge economy. We of Zimbabwe, we want to embark on a program to leapfrog our economy into the information and knowledge technology in line with the dictates of the fourth industrial revolution. Under my administration, we are determined to realize holistic development. Zimbabwe is on the move and they will not be left behind. We are moving. The construction of this cyber city is in line with the major tenets of the national human settlements policy, including ensuring provision of an orderly and a well-built environment with requisite on-site and off-site infrastructure. Pamawona pa iyo pa changu pa changu gazi guaruizi matimambo isuto zwa kutinzindeza marizo gazi guanimbre. I say I have no Godzilla I would want to make this message clear to both our industry and commerce, to our investors. Our policy of engagement and re-engagement, our policy that we are an enemy to none, but a friend to all. We have created an environment of business that Zimbabwe is open for business. And the philosophy that we ourselves have the responsibility of building Nika Yokuedu, Nika Inova Kwanebe Nevayo, those are three quita is. Wangu awano wia, awano wia, kata wadana istuda kubaka. Kata atisingadi iso awai wia. Pamsaka pokuti isu, tatibu wia hii, watibatire, wachibaka. Wangu bane nguwa ashita mabisa, wita mari, astichi zipi gwa. Ne mabasa, ne teknoloji itwa, ma innovations, development, employment creation. Transfer of technology. We as Zimbabweans are developing a culture of continuous innovation. And this must be entrenched towards incremental and revolutionary improvements in, the, in our process. Product designs, services, and technologies in line with our policies aimed at producing homegrown services and goods and products. 
nyika inova kwa nei so through progressive policies of the second republic investments such as this one will continue flowing into the country building on the engagement and the engagement agenda which my government is putting in place and providing incentives legislation and an overall conducive macroeconomic environment for capital to find comfort the whole of government approach must be honest to guarantee provision of enablers including basic services such as water sanitation infrastructure sustainable waste management as well as an efficient road transport network among others i must mention this also pakati pavo pane vamwe vativimbisa kuti tavudza kuti tinotambura nemvura tikotambura na magets saka vakandivimbisa kuti vakadzokera kunobona kuti vanga titira chinyi kuti tisatambura mvura vanga aita chinyi kuti tisatambura magets zvakare vachavuya vamwe vake saka amadzangu tinofani gwa kutambira vaenzi ava twabate zvakanaka pachaita mabasa pano vana vedi vakoma na vasikana vachawana mabasa pano e kuvakwa kuchaitwa pano akusi pano chete this is only 25 hectare development section the whole place is 15000 hectares kune mamwe vari kuya kuzoita vo zvimwe po pano zvakare saka madzimambo okwa zvimba moto zviro asipa kuti zvose zvakanaka zvakuya kudivirenyi kunoku tichiva ndura nyika yokwedu i commend the diaspora tinakoma na vedu vari koko eh sumukayo aina kukoma na tungwarara uyu ari kugara kudubai ndiye mporisa wangu wando tuma kachinobona vachidzoka achinobona achidzoka ndo basa rake kutakura mashoko kuno kudzoka nawo tara mashoko kudzoka rake uyu and ndiye anokwanza zvandino taura ana hwisisa kuti baba vari kutaura zvavakavona iko zvino izvi patakaenda ku na 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 vachuenga takaenda kubinga mazimambe ebinga akachema kuti hatina mvura ndikatuma uyu kuti ndanobona Mr Mark kuti kune district yangure ebinga rati harina mvura e, ngandi tumira Marig kanzoda mangani nokusoda ndikandoda 4 ndobvatumigwa Saka iko zvino mambo mune ongwe kubinga mariga acha bvako kana mune umwe ava nemvura tikatimira mamwe maviri akasvika ava matana tu mariga aitumwa no uyu azindotumwa uyu ndo vushamwa ari huripo gara kubas pose pana apa nokutendera kwa pakaita Muwisi se kuti pachaita doroba idza the city of government kubvira kuti parliament inenge iri pano judiciary constitutional court supreme court high court zvichavakwa pano kuseruko the executive my office our president Minister of Defence, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Justice. Zvichava kwa pana. Nedzimba dzevakuru zvichava kakunoko. Saka pana apa imimavu yapano nas you are the first witnesses of a vision which 
Each one of you must pray to see this vision actualize. In the Ahundo Zakudi, Pachabaka Pako Pirandiri Ponish Tadira Kuzufamba Sakanak Dinotenda Tavarura Dotin Rakuyaka Maita Dotenda Ze, no Gamsaka Maita Eva and Zvedu. Wacharamba wachingo wea wachingo waka Mukuru oko Ndofu nga mamu wana hapa His Highness uh, The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi Shamori yangu Ino tikubakoma na hapa Aiwa Noro wende atapiwa Na mamu nangagwa ii Inda hida abirabo ini in the Munita Zosa Zavanoda, the Crown Prince. In the Munita Zosa Zavanoda, Zivaque Sakaru and Racho, Cherokon and Gojida Queen, and it Nanoko to Tangani first step in Yangochinda Kupi. Saka, this is their first step establishing the business mantra in Zimbabwe. I'm so grateful to my brother Mark, he's the chairman of the group. But this company, this one is only one company out of about 12. This only one. Chief Ngayakuti, Chikasuka Paneshitana, Teta Papi. Nemasho Koye Wao, I now have the honor to declare the cyber smart city project. Here in Mount Hampton. So I'm saying I'm showing that today we're talking about Zitara. I told you that we're going to No good to you. You have Mount Hampton. Don't forget about Rungu. So I think I'm going to be this guy. This guy is also. But if I'm not going to go to Mount Hampton City, we're going to be talking about this. I declare the Cyber City Project here in Mount Hamden City officially launched. I thank you. I will start with the questions that are meant for you, Your Excellency. There are two questions. The questions are from the Khalid Times. Khalid Times is the biggest um, media house in, um, in the UAE. So question number one, uh, for His Excellency President Emerson Munangagwa, does Zim Cyber City promise a turnaround of the nation's economy? That's your question, sir. Thank you very much for that question. The Second Republic, from the day of its inception, I made a profound statement that Zimbabwe is open for business. On the basis of that, we embarked on reforms, economic reforms, to create an environment where global capital can feel safe in our economic environment. I'm happy that the reforms which we have made, the policy of engagement, the engagement we have pronounced, is bearing fruit. Mark International, under Mr. Mark and his colleagues, have been here with several other of his colleagues. They have looked around to determine whether what I preach or what I preached when I was in Dubai is actually a fact. And they are satisfied that indeed Zimbabwe is open for business. And Zimbabwe, under the Second Republic, has created an environment for economic growth and for global investment in Zimbabwe. I thank you. What are the tangible benefits of this particular project? When this project is completed, it transforms not only the landscape and the vision of the future of Harare and Zimbabwe, it demonstrates our vision to embrace the digital world, which is the future. Everything that is here is futuristic. 
and Zimbabwe is on course, we will not remain behind. We have a policy here that as we develop and modernize and industrialize our country, we leave no one behind, nor do we leave any community or place behind. This is demonstrative of our vision for Zimbabwe as we grow and modernize our country. Question number one, besides the investment in the cyber city, what other interests have you found in the country which you might want to invest in? Thank you. I think in the earlier speech I did mention uh, on an immediate basis uh, uh, which uh, His Excellency has also graciously approved that uh, we will be investing in the healthcare system of the country. That is with one. And not only mine, like you rightly said, the whole group of my associates uh, from Dubai, uh, from the US, from India, the whole lot of group who are very interested in investing in Zimbabwe in various sectors, right from the real estate uh, to hospitality, to manufacturing, to uh, communications and IT. So this is just the first start of the investment. You can see a lot more uh, coming in the near future. The cyber city is designed to bring all those players in the world who are in, in, engaged in the blockchain and the digital assets, like the crypto exchange companies, you see, today, as you will see, the financial system is moving from a currency world to digital currency. Now, a lot of countries have regulations in place. The U.S. is a fine example. They have, they have ease of business for uh, digital assets. But then, there are many, many players, hundreds of them, who are looking for a system where they can have the the blockchain connected, the crypto exchanges and uh, crypto uh, uh, currency launches to be easy. So here the Zimbabwe city, with the help of the our government here and all the officials, we hope to make an easy system for these companies to operate with ease of banking, with the transactions to be easy and the system to be smoothless and a single window clearance which uh, the minister has uh, already created. So that will be a different from any other. For example, take the example of Dubai. for the Now the blockchain companies are all rushing to Dubai now for the simple reason that Dubai has opened up, you know, this particular space. You can open a company within a day, the bank account is opened the same day. The ease of business is what the financial world is looking for and this is exactly what Zim Cyber City will offer. This project is just the beginning of a massive investment which is expected from the different parts of the world to come. So in short, yes, we are very aware of the requirements of the job creation and empowering the local people and it will be our endeavor to make sure the economy is empowered here and the people are taken care of. Thank you. This is Zimbabwe deed of grant. Kutibaba kepano vape zatoz vapari mwe futibago vakazi vachingo vaka vagongo vaka